Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at SC16 in Salt Lake City, and this afternoon we are here at the Huawei booth with Francis Lamb. Francis, welcome to Salt Lake. Thank you. Well, hey, thanks for having us here. Let us start from the beginning. Who is Huawei and who do you help? Yeah, Huawei is a global leader in information and communication technology solutions provider. And uh, we are a global company. We have over 170,000 employees and operate over 140 countries. So we have established uh, sales support and engineering organizations uh, worldwide. Uh, among many of our solutions, uh, high performance computing is one of our leading compute solutions that we offer to the market today. Well, can you uh, kind of walk us through and show us what you're showcasing this week at SC16? Uh, here uh, in SC16, we are demonstrating a broad range of uh, high performance computing solutions. This is a good example. It is our Fusion Server E9000 blade system. Uh, the uniqueness about this blade system is that it has a fairly innovative form factor and allow us to build compute modules of different shape and size, uh, including very capable uh, modules that we can add a lot of content in there to solve uh, difficult HPC problems of different kinds. So different HPC workload has different workload characteristics. So we are able to offer an optimum configuration for a wide variety of them in a very dense, tightly integrated system. So it makes it a lot easier to scale from small to very large scale. These components, they just they plug in like that? They yeah. just slide plug right in. in? All the components are easily accessible and pluggable from the front or from the back of the systems. Okay. Yeah. okay, very good. Okay, what else are you showcasing this week here? Yeah. Oh, this one. Now, this is an, uh, another example. Uh, it's a very interesting box. It is our Fusion Server 8100 V3 high performance server. Now, this is a single box. Eight red unit tall. It has up to eight uh, Intel Xeon E7 processor uh, with up to 12 terabyte of memory capacity. We have start seeing a lot of our HPC customers. Uh, they have a new way to solve their technical and scientific problem by taking advantage of such a huge memory space and throw their entire data set on it and be able to finish their analysis in a much uh, shorter period of time. So, uh, you know, a, a brand new way of solving HPC problem. So, so this has 12 terabytes of memory just in this unit here? Just in that, yeah. just in that box, yes, wow. yes. So great uh, solution for big data kind of problems in yeah. HPC. Correct, correct, good, yeah. Okay, well, can we see what else you got today? All right. All right, Francis, looks like we got an NVMe solution here. Correct. Now, this is a brand new box that we've just announced yesterday in this conference. Our Fusion Server X6000 V3 uh, high performance computing systems. Uh, the uniqueness about this is that now it is a 2U box. It actually has four individual compute nodes in there, right? So fairly high density. But the uniqueness about this is it supports all NVMe flash. So it has up to 24 NVMe flash devices per box, right? Another uniqueness is that while there are many vendors who offer high density box like this, even though they may not have the NVMe SSD support. Uh, but the uniqueness is that we have superior cooling capability so that you, you can, we can support a full range of Intel CPU up to the highest power TDP configurations. So in a tight and dense form factor, you can deploy four super high performance nodes with the latest, highest performance, lowest latency NVMe SSD devices. As processors go, could this be Xeon or Xeon Phi? This is Xeon E5. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, in the future, we, we would also offer a configurations based on our direct liquid cooling technology. So you can really fully load in a tall rack with, you know, with tons of these devices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So four nodes in two U with all NVMe yes. uh, as a baseline. Boy, that's pretty impressive. Impressive, yes. Uh, unique in the space. Okay. Yeah. So Francis, what are we looking at here with this rack? This is our brand new direct liquid cooling solutions for high performance computing. Now early on, you have seen our E9000 blade system. Uh, while that can fit into all data center, typical front to back air cooling, uh, we offer a configurations 
that can take advantage of the latest state-of-the-art direct liquid cooling, where we bring the coolant directly onto the cold plate and the heat sink that cover the major heat dissipation elements within the server. So up to 85% of the heat dissipation from the, uh, from the compute node can be handled through this uh, liquid cooling technology. And in a standard 42U rack, and this is a specialized uh, Huawei liquid cooling cabinet with this manifold from the front. So all the liquid, all the water distributions are handled from the front and all the electrical and the networking and power cables are handling from the back. With these systems, uh, it supports a, a super high density based on a standard 19 inch wide form factor at the same time taking advantage of the latest, most effective uh, liquid cooling technologies. This solution supports chill water up to warm water, uh, up to 45 degrees Celsius input. So in some environment when you can uh, uh, use warm water throughout the season, uh, you can potentially eliminate the chiller in your data center completely and substantially reduce the energy cost uh, to drive your HPC solutions when you scale to you know, hundreds, thousands, even tens of thousands of uh, nodes. Right? This uh, is the only way to enable you to get to that kind of density and energy efficiency. And, and how many kilowatts can you cool with this rack? For this uh, particular configuration, uh, up to 45 kilowatts. Francis, you've pulled out this module here. What are we looking at? You know, there is some unique design characteristic about our uh, liquid cooling technology. Mm -hmm. So here you can see uh, uh, the uh, cold plate that uh, covering the heat element, which are mainly the CPU all the memory dims and the voltage regulator mod, uh, modules uh, that, are, that represent about you know, 80-85% of the heat dissipation of the systems on a very nicely designed metallic component, right? Uh -huh. uh, and the uniqueness is that all these uh, tubing right, are a single uh, tube with no joint. Okay, continuous. Within, continuous within that systems. The only joints are on the front input connector. So it dramatically reduced the probability of leaking. Another unique advantage of our solution is that this is totally uh, factory integrated, right? With no fuel installations required. And this uh, cold, cold plate that cover the memory dims can be easily removed and so that you can service the mod, uh, dim modules very uh, easily, right? So the entire systems are highly integrated highly reliable, highly serviceable, and I think that is one of the biggest uh, uh, unique uh, points about uh, uh, this particular system. So Francis, what are we looking at here with this rack? This is our uh, high-end Kunlun mission critical server. Uh, it has a broad range of applications across uh, enterprises of different type of industry verticals, in high performance computing, what it really brings to the table is, uh, is uh, extensive memory footprint and memory capacity. Mm -hmm. So in a single system, it's a one server running one OS instances, okay. up to 32 uh, Intel Xeon E7 processors, and give you uh, up to 24 terabyte and potentially beyond. Um, so that when you have a very large problem, and you want to have your entire data running on multiple tens of terabytes of memory, mm -hmm. you know, uh, having your system and your uh, code to access to all those memory as a single OS domain. Yeah. And this is the platform that enable them to do. Okay. So in high performance computing, there are many different type of workload uh, based on their workload characteristics, mm -hmm. the scale that they want, the type of uh, workload acceleration that they desire, uh, Huawei offer a wide range of solutions that's optimized for individual use cases. Yeah, yeah. And, and with this big memory, things like genomics maybe, and things like that, that they can fit it all in the memory? And just be the there bot? are many different kind of possibilities. Yeah. The ones you name are some examples. Yes. Some of the uh, more generic big data anal analysis, deep learning, we have mm -hmm. customers that try to use uh, uh, use a large memory machines to handle deep learning analysis mm -hmm. um, and uh, those could be a possible solutions for them as well. All right Francis, what, what's going on with this rack? Yeah, now what we have uh, discussed so far are mainly our compute 
part of our HPC solutions, mm -hmm. uh, but we also offer a broad range of storage technology as well, from traditional SAN, NAS, unified block and file solutions, big data cloud-oriented uh, storage technology, uh, very large-scale object store. So we have a full range of storage product. And on display here is one of the examples. It's one of our, it's, uh, our Ocean Store 9000 uh, big data scale-out storage systems. So that is essentially a uh, scale-out NAS architecture. It can scale up to 288 nodes. A single file system can be as large as 100 petabyte. 100 or, petabyte. 100 petabyte, over up to 400 gigabyte per second of throughput. So it's a super scalable, very high capacity, very high performance com uh, storage technology for our HPC customers. It's just one of the many solutions, uh, but it's obviously one of our uh, best design. Yeah, yeah. Now, is that, that parallel file system, is that based on Lustre or something open source, this or is, is it from uh, Huawei? This is a proprietary uh, Huawei uh, file, uh, distributed file system, system. technology, oh, okay. but it offers standard uh, NFS type of service. Uh, it also offers the connectivity to a uh, MapReduce Hadoop service. Okay. So whether you are running your traditional uh, HPC workload that require an NFS backend, or you're running, you know, adding uh, to your portfolio uh, MapReduce uh, mm -hmm. workload, uh, you can use a single storage architecture to serve both uh, needs. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's exciting. So, just to wrap things up here, Francis, I, it, it, you really have shown, you know, from soup to nuts, how Huawei can deliver HPC solutions based on the workload first, right? And, and tailor these engineering things that we've seen to what the customer is really trying to solve. I mean, that seems like a, a, a nice recipe for success in this market. Yeah, I think you're right. You know, we <laughs> believe that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, hey, thanks for showing that to us today, and you're good welcome. luck here at SC60. Thank you for stopping by. Thank yeah. you. Yeah.